Hey Wiz Kids, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making something absolutely delicious, a real treat. Uh, we are going to be making some Biscoff truffles. So you need all of four ingredients for this recipe. You need the Biscoff biscuits, some Biscoff spread, some white chocolate and some cream cheese. In terms of equipment, if you've got a block of chocolate, you will need a chopping board and a knife to cut that into pieces. If you've got chocolate chips, you won't need those things. Um, if you've got a food processor, it will come in handy. If you don't have a food processor, you will need a rolling pin and a Ziploc bag to crush your Biscoff biscuits. Otherwise, you'll need a spoon and a measuring scales for the ingredients. So the first thing we want to do is measure out 100 grams of our Biscoff biscuits either into our uh, Ziploc bag or into the food processor. Once you've measured out your Biscoff biscuits, you want to process them or crush them until they resemble fine breadcrumbs. And when it looks like this, it is all done. So to make the next step easier, put your crushed biscuits into a bowl. And then you want to add the cream cheese. So it is 60 grams of cream cheese. And then you want to add some of your Biscoff spread. So add 40 grams to the crushed biscuits and the cream cheese. And then we're going to mix it all together. So you want it to come together like this. You'll be able to pick it up. And then we want to roll that into balls so I've got a little teaspoon measurement here and just roll it into as many balls as you'd want once you've got your mixture rolled out into balls like this we want to coat it in chocolate so in a bowl add 120 grams of chopped white chocolate or chocolate chips and 50 grams of your Biscoff spread and then we want to melt that together in the microwave for about 20 second intervals mixing in between. And this looks about what we're looking for, all melted together. Next what we want to do is coat the balls in chocolate. So normally I would use two forks, which is what I'm going to use today. And you just dip the ball in chocolate until it's all covered and put it back on a lined tray. So once all of your truffles are coated, you need to put them in the fridge for at least an hour to set. If you've got as much white chocolate and Biscoff mix left over as I do, you can wait till until, until it's set a little bit and then give it a second coating if you'd like to, or you can just eat the leftover chocolate. So it's been an hour and this is the finished product. You can pick them up. Don't worry if they have edges, they'll still be delicious. So these are super easy, not a lot of ingredients, no actual cooking or baking included, it just sits in the fridge, um, and absolutely de delicious. So give this one a go guys. I hope you're all doing well. Take care now, bye.
And of course, the best and most important part, the taste test. So, well, yep, that is absolutely delicious. Give it a go. Bye.